In this video, I will demonstrate how to create dynamic energy and luminosity to your acrylic underpainting, first by using loose brushwork. Stay till the end of this video for an easy tip, very valuable, in how to seal your underpainting. This will help maintain that fresh color which will shine through your finished painting, whether you decide to finish it in acrylic or oil paint. I worked on my drawing for a little while, and once I was satisfied and happy with it, I moved on to the acrylic paint. I prefer the soft body acrylic paint. I find that it stays wet longer on the palette as well as on the painting. It blends really easily. And when you load your brush, you can really lay down a lot of color quickly. This is like setting the stage for the finished painting. Loose brushwork will shine through the finished painting and add to the dynamic energy. It almost creates a sense of movement in the finished work, which also adds more life and vitality to the painting. This is my spray misting bottle which will lay down a very fine mist of water. It's perfect for keeping my palette wet and moist, as well as um, I do spray the, can uh, the panel. This is a wooden panel. I do spray that from time to time. Now, if you're interested in purchasing a water misting bottle, you can find them in beauty supply stores normally, as well as on Amazon. It's a fine misting bottle. I like to periodically wipe off my brush to keep the colors fresh. And just having a paper towel roll like you can see there in the video uh, makes it really easy just to wipe off and keep moving. The background color to, uh, that I painted the panel in is a Naples yellow, and this will add a lot of glow to the finished painting. It will shine through. As you can see, it's very warm and cheerful. Now I'm just blocking in the generalized color of the rabbit working between light and dark shades, warm and cool. And that initial layer of Naples yellow before I started the painting, it really adds a beautiful glow to the painting, which you will see in the finished painting. I really enjoy using that color in my under, under painting. And just a few minutes more, at, towards the end of the video, I'll be showing you how to seal this underpainting, which is really vital and important in maintaining that fresh, luminous color in your finished piece.
So I'm happy with the stage of this underpainting. It's very loose and dynamic. That's the photo. So I'm going to grab my gloss gel medium, which is an acrylic product by Liquitex. You can use other brands as well. It is a soft body gel medium. And I use the plastic bag because boy, it sure makes it easy to store. Spray a little water inside and just mix it around. You want it to be slightly watered down, not too much, but a little bit. That misting bottle comes in handy. And I'm just mixing it up. And now with my dampened brush, I will begin applying the gloss gel medium. Working quickly in a cross-hatching fashion. There is a slight haze once you first put it on, but that goes away when it's dry, as you can see. An advantage to sealing the painting is that if you do decide to proceed with acrylic or oil paint, you can apply paint and change your mind. So literally, if I, as I am demonstrating, I lay down a brush mark once again in acrylic paint, and rather than it polluting the paint underneath, because it's been sealed, you can actually wipe it off completely with no effort at all. And now I must decide, do I finish my painting in oil or acrylic? Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you enjoyed this video.